How do people make money in their online business? Why do I find it so hard? And what could be the easiest way to actually start making money with my blog, with my website, with my affiliate business? Well, that's what we're gonna look at in this video. We're gonna look at the number one way that anybody completely starting from new can actually start earning an income online. And this way is used by some of the biggest companies in the world to actually sell products as well. So <laughs> it's very accessible to you. So, and I'm sure that you already know what they are. I'm sure that you've already read them and I'm sure you've even watched them as well. They are reviews, product reviews. Now, before you kind of like go, ah, oh, I wouldn't know what to write. What I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna to go to one of the biggest review websites in the world, which you can see on screen here, the New York Times wire cutter. And I'm going to look through one of its reviews and tell you what the hell is actually going on and how you can replicate that type of review for yourself. So this is super, this is actually pretty cool. So I spent a good time this morning actually going through and making sure that everything within the review was noted so we understand what we can do. And then we could take that template and actually create our own reviews for ourselves. So uh, my name's Kieran Doyle and welcome. If you're new here, uh, I hope that I earn your subscription. If you're returning, guys, I haven't been on for a while. I've not been too well. So I hope uh, that you enjoy this one anyway. So what I want you to do first is come over to Wirecutter here, okay? So it's newyorktimes.com forward slash Wirecutter. Now, this is one of the biggest review sites in the world, and it reviews everything from home and garden, kitchen, health and leisure, tech, baby kids, style, gifts, shopping, and deals, okay? And the, it's beautifully laid out. I think it's really lovely. I think it's a really, really great site. And if you want to learn about how to actually create brilliant reviews, spending a few hours every week going through the different types of reviews here is going to give you a great understanding of actually creating your own brilliant reviews. So as you can see, it's beautifully laid up, nice images within it as well. Okay, they can just pick on any of these reviews, let's say the, the best budget Android phones or the best iPhone cases. So actually, I've looked at the best iPhone cases here this morning already, as you can see. And what I want to do is I want to show you how this is laid up for you and how you can replicate that type of review for yourself. Okay, so first off, I will leave a link down to this as well, guys, okay? What I wanted to show you here is obviously you got your the best iPhone case for iPhone 15 plus, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So it's telling us what this review is actually about, all right? And it says it's for the 15, 15 plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max, okay? So there's no doubt if a person comes here and they're looking for a review related to any of those types of phones, well, then this is going to fit for them, okay? I've got a cool image basically of cases, which is obviously what this is about. And then we just go on to the intro section, okay? I just bought a new iPhone 15, or if you just bought a new iPhone 15, you might wanna protect it with a case. We've tested 60 options to find the best ones, whether you want a clear case to show off your exp expense, uh, expensive new phone, or a more rugged case to better protect it from nicks and dings, okay? So what it's doing is it's basically saying, hey, look, we understand that these things happen to phones and we've reviewed the 60 best of them and here is what we have, okay? So that's a nice introduction, really, really easy, really, really quick, okay? But that's not the most important part. The most important part is down here. It's the research, okay? And I love how they do this. So this research basically is almost like your table of contents, okay? So it's gonna be the research that they've conducted on each of the phones. So they got the best basic iPhone 15 case, best letter iPhone 15 case, combine your wallet and phone case, uh, a more protective case, a clear case to show off your phone, a super thin case, etc. Why you should trust us, what makes a great iPhone case, what to look forward to, and the competition, okay? So we're not gonna go through these ones at first, okay? We're not gonna go through them because if you click on that, like I click on that and it just opens it up like that, okay? What we're gonna do is we're gonna skip all the review parts here at first, okay? Because what I've done here is I've actually taken the review and I've broken it down and left notes beside it, okay? And this shows you what the person is thinking when they're actually creating the review and what are the points they're hitting so that the search engine algorithms actually see this as useful, helpful content, okay? Which is one of the ranking factors in Google now 
as we realize, okay? So what we have down here is why should you trust us? Okay, so this is really important. And this is what you can include in your um, reviews as well. Staff writer Roderick Scott has reviewed consumer tech and accessories since 2010. Okay, so we're going like, okay, this is great. All right, this is a signal to Google that's saying, this guy's been around doing this since 2010. Roderick has been using iPhone cases going back. All right, so this again, this is cementing his authority within the niche related to the topic that he's discussing in this um in this article okay for this guide we tested dozens of cases from different companies and narrowed the group down to 14 picks again okay it's telling us what they've done okay it's telling us what they've actually looked at and now that they're showing us the best of the best all right previous versions of this guide were written by nick uh nick guy wirecutter's case reviewer since 2014. nick reviewed uh, around 2000 iphone cases now i love this this is super important in here okay previous versions of this guide Basically, it shows that you have been updating your knowledge and reviews since 2014. Okay, now you don't have to say if you haven't been doing it, but you can say, now I've been looking at these cases since 2014 and I've used them personally myself. So what you're basically doing is you're you're instead of kind of like going the previous version of this guide, you're saying I have been using these and I've been testing these myself since then. All right. Perfect. Okay, so next, what makes the iPhone case a great case? All right, and then goes into all of the details about the case itself, drop protection, full coverage, raise front lip, mag safe. Now, what this is doing here is this is basically saying, okay, this person knows about this. All right, this person knows about this review, okay, or and why they're actually writing it, all right? And then what to look forward to after a nearly five-year break, Mophie is back with a $100 juice pack battery for iPhone 15 series. Okay, so this is adding a little bit of extra stuff in here as well, okay? So going, all right, there's more new stuff actually coming out related to this iPhone, so make sure that you look out for that. Then you got your competition in here, which is really good. It's, it's showing that they've actually done a lot of competitive research when it comes to reviewing this. Uh, as you can see, loads of them down here, which is absolutely brilliant. And then you've got your, your bit at the bottom, meet your guide, okay? So really in-depth when it's actually coming to the reviews. And that's because what the reviewer is actually thinking here is, how do I give a person what they want without them even asking the question? Okay, so we got to always think that one step ahead when it comes to actually reviewing products. What's the next thought that our potential buyer is going to have so we can give it to them before they go and look for it somewhere else? Okay, and that's exactly what they're doing here. That's why I said make sure you come in and you see what these reviews are actually saying. So let's look at this basic iPhone case, all right? As you can see, Best basic iPhone 15 case, smartish uh, grip monk with MagSafe for iPhone 15, obviously including keywords in the title there as well. We got obviously the image of what it is. Uh, then you've got a lovely thing, our pick. So this is our pick, okay? And it's linked up to Amazon. So obviously if somebody purchases, then they make a commission. Then you've got also available for these phones, and then you've got the for the 15 Plus, for the 15 Pro, for the 15 Pro Max, okay? And then MagSafe compatible, yes, all right? Now they've got the review part here, all right? So this review part here, and it's even got flaws, but not deal breakers. So for this, what I want to do is I want to come over to this here, our review breakdown, okay? Now, I'll leave you access to this down below as well. And obviously, what it says is, all right, so Smartfish's Grip Monk has been our favorite basic iPhone case for nearly a decade, okay? And now in the green here, what you're going to see is their thought process behind why they wrote that part and what that is actually doing that's helping them actually be seen as authoritative within Google's eyes, okay? Shows they have loved it for a long time, adds credibility to the review. All right, so next, all right. And it's no surprise that the case once again beat the competition when we tested it for the iPhone 15. Again, new test. Again, keeping up with the latest changes, great credibility adder, okay? The Grip Monk is a one-piece case made of soft rubber-like plastic, okay? Quick overview of how it is made, good to let people know, and provides more than adequate coverage and protection. Quick overview of what people are looking for it to do, tells people that they are in the right place. Okay, the Grip Monk case is a great basic phone case. It mentions basic, telling us there are more different types available. 
All right. It has enough to give it. Uh, it has enough give to make it easy to install on your phone. Obviously, this is important for tech phobes and for people who are not good at things, so easy to install, but not so much that it will stretch out and the case corners won't randomly pop off. So again, overcoming objections that people have with cases. All right, brilliant there. I love that. It's back, it's back is smooth and the sides have a pebbly texture that combined with three small grooves provide a noticeable amount of grip. Talks about how it feels. All right, the sensory element related to the phone. So a person is kind of thinking about it. Oh, all right, that sounds kind of nice in my hand, even though they can't touch it. All right. The Grip Monk case covers the iPhone's buttons, but doesn't dampen the clickiness. Even the new action button cover uh again overcoming objections the slightly raised edges around the camera lens provide protection while allowing your iphone to sit flat on the table again another objection that people have probably most likely had related oh i don't like the way the camera actually raises the phone off the off the table okay so things like that again overcoming objections and then well, let's scoot down here uh, and though we can't vouch for exactly how protective the air pocket in the four corners are, we can personally attest to the case's ability to withstand more than a few drops. Again, overcoming objections, but saying that we aren't scientists, okay? Saying that this is just our personal preference and we can't guarantee anything. All right, this is very well done. It gives, a, it, gives it a really human kind of feel to it, okay? So let's just come down to this part here. The majority of the case is TPU, so information and objection handling, then testing and first-hand experience, information to help buyers, aesthetics and vanity, signals of social proof, credibility of tests, overall credibility versus the market, then flaws versus, but not deal breakers, objection handling and clever objection handling. So they have done this extremely well, okay? They've done it extremely well, and that in itself, is something how that you can look at, okay? That you can take away this and actually say to yourself, all right, look, this is absolutely brilliant how they've done this here, okay? So how do I utilize this within my own reviews? How do I actually look at what they've done here? You know the best way? Feed it to a bit of AI. Ask the AI to actually say, hey, look, what is this and how is the, how does this work with reviews? Now they've done this throughout the whole review on on uh, wire cutter. So if you've multi, if you're reviewing multiple products, you would follow the same process there as well. So anyway, look, I really hope you've enjoyed this review section, and I would recommend that you actually look at wire cutter and see how they're formatting their reviews because they are top class when it comes to review formatting. Okay, my name's Kieran Doyle. If you're new here, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this. If you're returning, thanks so much. I really hope you enjoyed it too. And I will talk to you in the next video. Okay, keep it easy.